independent panel has been appointed by the president to investigate the docking of Russian ship Lady R in Simon's Town last year. It's set to look into allegations uh, that have been made by the U.S. ambassador to South Africa that arms were loaded onto that ship. Earlier this week, President Matame Lasre Maposa announced that the panel will be made up of retired Judge Phineas Mujapilu, Advocate Leah Trabashe, Senior Counsel, and former Education Deputy Minister of Education, rather, Enver Seti. Let's discuss this in further details now with the presidential spokesperson, Vincent Maguenya. Mr. Maguenya, good afternoon. Welcome to today, and thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. Can I begin with a general question first? Did the president believe it was necessary to set up such an independent panel? I'll tell you why I'm starting there. Simonstown is a naval base of the Republic of South Africa. He is the commander-in-chief of the South African National Defense Forces. He should know via the commander of the Navy base what was there. Do we need an independent panel? Um, thank you, Pratan, and good afternoon to your viewers. Indeed, we do, Pratan, because what is in front of the president is a report for example, from the National Convention's um, Arms Control Committee, which indicates that there was never any transaction um, that was processed nor approved for any weapon sale to Russia. We have a very categoric um, statements from the Minister of Defense, also confirming that there was never any such sale of weapons um, to Russia. On the other hand, we have a very important and key trading partner in the form of the United States government, strongly alleging that there were weapons that were loaded into that um, cargo vessel, and, and even going further as saying there's evidence to that effect. Now, in order for the president to then um, process all of this information, the best way possible is to institute an inquiry as he has done so, so that all of the facts um, could be evaluated and, 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 and the circumstances um, around the docking of the vessel, the loading and offloading of any contents as it has been alleged uh, can, can then be thoroughly investigated. It is important um, that you have a credible investigation on a matter that involves such an important uh, trading partner as the United States, but also on a matter that is of public interest and a matter that has an impact on South Africa's international relations. Is the president embarrassed by all of this? Well, let's wait for the inquiry to produce its report uh, before we can reach any conclusions. It is a matter of concern um, that you have the U.S. government strongly asserting that it has evidence, none of which, by the way, has been presented to our own authorities or even to um, the intelligence counterparts here. Uh, there have been numerous requests for that evidence to be provided. It has not been provided, uh, but statements have been made that um, that there is evidence and that there were weapons that were loaded. So the only way to cycle this matter is to have a credible investigation. Okay, so practically this three-person panel led by the a retired judge will be doing what? Are they going to be interviewing the people who were involved on the set period when Lady R had docked in Simon's town? Indeed, they'll be looking at um, all the parties that were involved, but also all the parties that uh, claim to have evidence and to have information. They will look at, at that information and they, as, I've, as I've mentioned, they will be seeking to establish what were the circumstances of this vessel docking in Simon's Town, as, as well as the circumstances around the alleged loading and offloading of contents from the vessel. They will be looking at whether any constitutional or legal obligations were complied with or violated, for that matter, with regard to the offloading or loading of any contents. They will be looking at persons who may have had knowledge of um, the vessel, its arrival and docking at someone's town, as, as well as um, related activities with respect to its presence. Just yesterday, the, 
The head of the National Defense Force uh, re reiterated the view of the defense minister uh, the other week, saying that, uh, I want to use the word as well, saying that basically there was nothing that was loaded onto that vehicle. They are, do you think in this investigation the defense force might be closing ranks? No, I, I don't think it's it's safe for us to speculate who may be doing what, uh, uh, pretend, except to say it is important that that information is considered and that information is presented to the panel. You have to appreciate from the side of the president, who, by the way, um, was did not only hear this matter when the U.S. ambassador decided to undiplomatically uh, relate it in the manner that he did. The matter was brought to the president's attention by Secretary General Yellen when he visited um, the country earlier this year. The president undertook then to uh, look into the matter. Um, Secretary Yellen asserted that there was some form of evidence which was never provided at the time. Um, Dr. Mufumadi led a team of envoys to the US where the matter was still discussed and, and agreed that um, only through a credible investigation can we um, understand what really happened. So from the president's perspective, pretend he's sitting in between these two um, sources of information, if you like. He's, yes. he's got his defense minister who, who repeatedly has said there were no weapons loaded on that vessel. As I've said, we have the arms control committee, which has never uh, processed any application in this regard with respect to weapon sale to to Russia. Then you have, on the other hand, a big and important uh, okay. trading partner in the form of the United States saying we have evidence. So the president can only then say, let's interrogate all of these facts uh, via an independent um, okay. panel and, and look at the outcome of the process. Okay. Now, how long do they have to do their work with and who will be supporting them the context as well of my question is too much money is spent by government in investigating and setting up commissions or setting up task teams and inquiries. Now, this is a three-member panel, so it's nice and small. How long do they have? Who will be supporting them? Just to appreciate that on the cost side, already our economy has suffered a great deal as a result of, of this matter. And, and I don't think uh, the cost of this panel will... Um, exceed uh, the level of 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 of, of um, um, setback that has been suffered by our currency as well as our economy. That's number one. But in terms of support, the panel will be supported by a team to be appointed or select a president's the team rather to be selected by the director general in the presidency, Ms. Pindile Baleni. Uh, in terms of timelines, pretend uh, they have six weeks uh, from the date of the appointment, which is the 25th of May, to complete the investigation. Thereafter, they will have two weeks to finalize the report that they will table before the president. I must add that should it be necessary for the panel uh, um, to have a timeline extension, they will be able to request uh, that extension. Okay, and, and, and hopefully there's an understanding and an appreciation, as you've just said, of how urgent it is to conclude this matter so we can put, the country can put it behind it. Now, final question, uh, uh, Mr. Maguena. The composition of the panel, the DA, I'm going to be talking to them shortly. They are not happy with the inclusion of the former Deputy Minister of Education, Anva Seti, therefore questioning the independence, according to the DA, of this panel because of his historic ties with the governing party. Why was he included? Was it purely at the president's discretion? Were any thoughts given to making sure that it is really seen to be independent by all accounts? Well, the DA's unhappiness and the expression is rather mis, um, is misinformed and, and unfortunate because, number one, it seeks to impugn an impeccable record of a well-respected retired judge, um, a record of which has never been called into question. It seeks to impugn um, the members of the panel without any substantiation whatsoever. The mere fact that Mr. Suchi was um, an ANC a member of the executive uh, does not mean that 
he will single-handedly determine uh, the manner in which the investigation is conducted and he will uh, prevail over a well-respected and experienced uh, a, a judge in this case. So it's it's rather just unnecessary. Um, we think that this inquiry should be allowed uh, to proceed without any uh, political undue pressure. And, and I think statements such as those are a little bit reckless, to be honest. Thank you very much, uh, Vincent Maguena, spokesperson of the President of the Republic. Thanks for your time on this matter. Let's bring in the